Greetings, I'm Crazy Nelly, and welcome to The Legend of Dragoon, the last disc of Legend of Dragoon. We are on the final stretch of this game, and we are... When are we getting to the moon? I want to visit the moon. What's down here? Something. Who could imagine there is such a place under the ground of, a de of the desert? It must be a cavity created when the water dried up. The world is going on without knowing anything. Without knowing until the end. I wonder if this little world has experienced an end like this. It is not determined yet that our world will end. That's true. We are still here. Now, can I get to this thing? No, I can't. So... I'm guessing I fall onto those somehow. And I do have... A map here because it has been provided so I will use it you see here the only, the only enemies in this area are woo 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 go away go away go away this reminds me of King's Quest again So much crap everywhere. No! No! I was looking at the map. Let's see what these things are. It's a sand whale and sandworm. The sleeper has awoken. Um, and a spiky beetle. Hit it! Feed me, Seymour. I'm not kidding. The first thing that came to mind when I saw this was either... Was the sandworm stunned? Good. The first things that came to mind were... Sandworm from Dune. And... Little Shop of Horrors plant. And no, I don't remember the name of that. 578. These guys can take more punishment than the others. Kill it. Nope. Kill it. Jeez. Kill it. Thank you. Now kill that thing. Oh, it's a beetle. It's like a giant dung beetle. So it's just hitting me with a piece of dung? Really? Ah! It's been a while since I messed up that badly. Hate counters with Maru. They're always terrible with her. Went almost all of her health. Inferno. There we go. I'd love for Kongul to finally get his last edition. Spirit potion. Yeah, what can't requires I'll replace my spirit potion with this spirit potion. I think it's better than the attack ball. Because the attack ball is meh. No. I don't believe this map. I really don't right now. God damn it. I need to look at the map. Death Frontier map. Oasis 2 save. It is a really weird place. Huh. Okay. I know where to continue at least. Place is awful. Go away. Jesus, I don't like this place. 
Please be the oasis. This does not look like the oasis. Because I'm looking at an oasis on the map. Cannot carry any more items. Shit! Ooh! I do get a chest. Cannot carry any more items. Nah. I can already tell what kind of place this is going to be. Sun Rhapsody. And then... Power down. Repeated... Repeatable item. Hmm. See, where am I? Where did I even wind up on the map? How long have we been walking around? Whatever it is, we have no road to go back. Okay, so you're saying that from this point on, I can't go back. Okay. That kind of sucks, but I can deal. Okay, so we need to... say down here should be another whirlpool which I don't want anywhere near I want to get to the next oasis no 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 this map is wrong that was not there maybe this is the oasis is that what you're trying to say Making me mad. Jesus. Okay, I'm suddenly. Oh! I'm looking at the wrong part of the map. I'm an idiot. How do I get down? How do I get down? No. Really? How? Okay. I couldn't find that for some reason. Okay, so I was looking at the wrong part of the map, and that explains quite a bit. So we're going to go, according to the right part of the map, we are going to go here. And we are going to charge like a lunatic all the way to the bottom corner. Which I was actually at, but too stupid to actually do. Go away. I don't want to fight the legions of enemies. They're a bit obnoxious, to tell you the truth. That was an enemy? I thought it was something I could, like, play with. Ugh, that doesn't look pleasant, either. They're easy to kill. Which means they probably have some sort of horrible effect that will... Oop. Not very good. You're gonna kill Meru. Yep. There we go. So they have fairly high attack, but have no health where they're pathetic. Albert levels up for no reason. Okay, one more screen. And then this should go... Yeah, this is a different area. This is a thoroughly unpleasant place. I'd just like to say that. Go away. 
Yeah, and this... Water! It's refreshing. I don't doubt that. Can I have some? Here, no monster. We can rest now. What will the Wingleys and Alara know? They should know the way we, or at least I, should take. So there's no need for you to come. What is with you, Rose? Are you still saying that? Don't you understand it is no longer a problem for you alone? We just found out a couple of days ago. You just found out a couple of days ago, and now you think you can judge me? It is not as easy as pursuing one wingly. You, you say it was easy? Don't be so conceited. Stop it. It won't lead us anywhere. Rose, nobody can understand the weight of fate you have carried, but we can at least lighten the burden for you. That's why we are going with you. If you have the strength to argue, we can go on. Everybody, back into the TARDIS pocket. You too, Rose. There's no other way, is there? And that means I'm healed, right? Does that mean Meru's okay? Yes, it does. Awesome! So we have an insta Healy place. Now what's in this cave? All it says is Cave 2 on the map. And I'm sorry I'm cheating so egregiously, but I, I need to know. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Very interesting. So, it's just like a long elaborate thing of caves that's under it. And then here, probably goes to the other chat shows me where the other chest could be like up there but it's all just a way to get down here I'll just gargle this sand okay messing around in the cave doesn't do a whole lot for me Okay, next item. Next item is over here, then up, then r then it's up, then it's right, and then it's down here. No. You will leave me alone. I don't want to fight everything here. And then there's supposedly an item all the way in this corner. Gladius. That's exactly what it said it was. So now I understand where I am on the map. Oh boy. Consult the map again. Let's see, we have the Gladius, which is what I needed. Power down. Power down. We have to go all the way back to the oasis. And then we have to go up. And then left. And then up three. No! A new move. Nice shortcut, though. Now I go up, and then I go over here, ooh, those whirlpools suck.
Go away. I don't want to fight everyone. Everyone, especially the sandworms. The sandworms cannot carry any more items. This is a repeatable item. I have to get rid of something. This card. Gotta figure this out. What can I get rid of? I think we can get rid of... Damn it! I think we can get rid of one Sun Rhapsody for this. Because I know this is a repeatable item. Power down! It's a repeatable item! Then what else is left? Heal Bandit Shoes. And Bandit Shoes is all the way at the top. And it's that top chest in the corner. So a healing potion is... No, oh, it's a Sun Rhapsody. I don't care. I know I'm cheating egregiously. I don't really care. I need to get to the... get through this quickly and get all the items. And I'm never going to if I just sit there and take it. Okay. Now we go here. Now we go up to... One. Jesus. It's like a sand version of SeaWorld. And then we go here. And then there's another oasis, right? No. I said that was bad all around. Oasis 2. Yeah, this is the other oasis. Which we will save at. Even though we're going to get sent back. But that's fine. Potion. Okay. Okay, we've only wasted about five minutes here. Because I don't... This part would probably be kind of boring. And I don't want to be boring in my playthroughs. So that kind of sucks. And then we have one more whirlpool to dive into like a complete tard, and it's this one. This one gets me bandit shoes. And then we go all the way back. Alright, the end is within sight. Yes, we've made it out. I hate this place, but it's not impossible. It just sucks. But if you have a map, this place is okay. Now we go to wherever this leads. Spring Breath Town, Ulara. This place sucks. I mean, sucks. Even if an adventurer is lucky enough to make it through the death frontier, nobody can proceed from here. Time was stopped for me 11,000 years ago with the spill of this choker. And this is the only way to see Alora, the spring breath town. But where is it? You can't see it, fool! The only thing here is an endless desert. No, it's not. Hashel, I sense it. I sense people's feelings. When did you become Troy? Over there. Time to do some David Copperfield shit. Come on. Make a town appear. There we go. So they probably just concealed themselves. We can fly over there with this. Are you afraid? Of course! I've never teleported in anything. I think you are. Maybe. 
We are standing by you. I know. Let's go. What's that thing? I don't know. But I'm out of items I want to throw away. Charon, welcome to Alara, the Spring Breath Town. I am the guard of the teleporting device, Charon. I am a good friend of Rose's. Long time no see. Long time? Rose, you are starting to regain a sense of time, aren't you? No, not only that, you have recovered a lot of other things, too. I can tell this just by looking at you. Are you the person who stopped time for Rose? No, it was Charla for... Ama, he is the person to have a meet now. That was bad English. Rose has been carrying the fate of the world all alone while shedding tears of blood. So she's like those Virgin Mary statues? Can you go with Rose? Karen, stop it. I don't need to force them. I have already settled things with the black monster. The only thing left is that I have to complete this journey is that I have to complete this journey with my companions. If you understand that, I have nothing to say. Go see Charlie first until you do I close the way to going forward. Ah, you suck. Yeah. Looks like a very confusing place. Not gonna lie, your layout already confuses me. Hi. It's been a while since the last time I saw a human other than Rose. It's been 11,000 and some years. Teleport! We only provide relaxation time during the night. Come back after dusk. This doesn't look very relaxing, unless you consider, like, the teleporter relaxing. I guess this is the equivalent of an inn. Where's this go? Very interesting town. Once again, this game keeps blowing my mind art direction wise. Oh no, piranha plants. Myata, where's Charlie? You are wondering because he would normally be taking care of these babies, right? Charlie is preparing herself because, well, the things we don't tell you about, right? Didn't tell you about. Zeke told you them, so it must be about the moon signet. Tell me what you know. The signet is the signet sphere. The signet sphere is a sealing device that was created to be the last barrier, just in case the moon child reached the moon that never sets. Even my mistake wasn't your plan. You really, you are really scary people. Even more scary is Zeeg. He's trying to destroy the Signet Sphere using the Divine Moon objects. Wait a minute. You made the Signet Sphere just because you were afraid of the birth of the God of the Destruction. And why did you make tools that can destroy the Signet? Asked Charo. He, he was decided between. He, it was decided between the siblings. I will. I say, this is dumb. Why did they do that? Oh, in the mouth of this... You reached into a piranha plant's mouth and just yanked the stardust out of it? Not that I'm really complaining all that much, but... Dude, you have balls. I wouldn't do that. My first reaction to seeing a piranha plant would not to put my arm all the way into it. Alright. Oh, Rosie, darling, I have been waiting for you. I don't need your greetings. You know what I want to ask you. Oh, you're scary, but before that, you can introduce me to the son of dear Zigi. So she knew? You've... Everyone else is assholes here. This is Dart. Doesn't he look just like Arzigi? 
But Rosie, honey, it's complicated. You have to fight with the son of someone who used to be your significant other. And furthermore, the enemy is the significant other. Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? Sorry, honey. But I'm really concerned, so I'm intentionally making it happy and delightful so you won't be depressed, Rosie, sweetheart. I'd punch you too! You're annoying me. You have never changed. Charles, if you know, please tell us. Where should we head to? Really? You have the same eyes as Ziggy. I know. I've been waiting for you in order to tell you everything. Now what would you like me to tell you? He just asked you! Oh, I get it. About the Signet Sphere. Ziggy is trying to break the... I keep thinking of Ziggy the comic. Ziggy is trying to break the Signet of the Moon that never sets with the magic power of the Divine Moon Objects. That Signet is the Signet Sphere. I am sorry that I didn't tell you about this. I have to apologize. I miss the moon child, Shanna. But you still have time. The signet of the moon that never sets is not broken yet. Where are the remaining signets? In the past, they were placed in five cities, but there are only three left. I'm sorry, I have to do Southern Bale now. That's why they needed the same number of divine moon objects. What happened to the other two? One was destroyed in the royal capital, Cadessa, during the dragon campaign, and the other was lost when the divine dragon assaulted the crystal palace. Does this mean without the divine moon objects, the Cygnus sphere can be destroyed? The divine moon objects are just tools that conceal vast amounts of magical power, that's all. So, in order to destroy the Signet Sphere, having the same amount of magic power as the Divine Moon Objects is sufficient. My dad knew about this and made Lloyd collect them. It doesn't seem like him, and it's so indirect. Plus, something is strange. I wonder how Ziggy knows about the Signet Sphere. Not only that, he knew that Shanna is the Moon Child. Tell me about that moon thing. About the moon that never sets. It's the 108th fruit that the divine tree dropped. It was conceived with the god of destruction that ends the world. That's why we separated it into its soul and flesh and sealed them away. My baby brother Melbu sealed the soul, and which was the source of magic power in the crystal and the sphere. But um, when he fought with Ziggy, it was broken. When the soul escaped from the crystal sphere and started to transmigrate into a human body. Oh. Since then it had been called the moon child. What is left in the sky is the moon that never sets. When the moon child goes back into the moon that never sets, the Viraj embryo, the god of destruction, will be born. So we needed our Rosie to take on an important task. Please understand her. Tell me about my father, Obi-Wan. You are concerned, aren't you? Why does he have to destroy the world? Sorry, but that is the one thing that I don't understand. But he was unmistakably Zeke. Ziggy was the fiancé of Rosie. They crossed both swords and love. <laughs> If they were both male, I could have a real... No, no, we're not going there. They both crossed both swords in love. Just looking at them made me feel embarrassed. Stop right there. I want to talk alone with Zeke about our memories. I agree. Why make items to break the segment? Why did you make the divine moon objects that can break the signet sphere? That's right. Uh, oh, that's right. If you were not planning to allow the Virage embryo to be born, you wouldn't need them. I didn't want to, but my baby brother Malbu insisted. That is not an explanation, Charles. Oh, you're so uptight. But okay, I'll explain it to you. 
I told you that we sealed the soul of the Farage embryo in the Crystal Sphere, right? It is in order to draw lots of magical power and rule over other creatures. I wanted to make him stop being a dictator, because even though we have different appearances or capabilities, we are the same. We should be able to live together on good terms. That's why I created the Signet Sphere in order to weaken the magic power of the Crystal Sphere. Rose, without telling you that. The five signets that protect the moon that never sets restrain the magic power that flows from there. My operation was a big success, I thought. These are actually, this kind of is hard to do in Southern. And bad Southern, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if you're Southern and watching this. But Melbu found out about it and created the divine moon objects. But I can't help myself. I guess he was prepared so that he could destroy the signets any time he wanted to. Hmm, I get it. Where are the rest of the signets? Where are the rest of the signet spheres? That's right, that is the most important information for you, isn't it? Because Zigu has the divine moon objects and he can break the signets any time. Listen carefully. The rest of the three signet spheres are located in the ancient cities. The names of the cities are the Magical City Aeglas, Lost City Zenobatos, and Death City Mayfill. Those are all horrible sounding places. Those cities are still alive? It's surprising, isn't it? Of course they weren't badly damaged during the war. How do we get there? Go to Rouge. Then your way will be open. You said Rouge? It's my hometown! So you came from here? See, it is already open, isn't it? Well, it'll be night soon. Why don't you go look around until tomorrow morning? Not a bad idea. Don't worry about me. Go take a walk at Lara at night. I'm gonna worry about you. Oh, dart, sweetie pie. Everybody is outside. Can I go up here? Yes, I can, because fuck stairs, right? Your chair is fantastic. I don't know what any of these things do, so I'm reluctant to take them right now. Ooh, they are pretty now. Let's go to places we didn't go before. Huh? Now our way is opened. Shanna, I'll be there soon. Rose? You really forgive. Don't say anything. It's already in the past. Actually, that is pretty cool of you, Dart. But she's more than proven herself. Take your sword. Oh, so you guys actually scuffled. You've become strong. You can take care of yourself. Kill me. Why? The black monster is dead now. We only have a companion who is in the same road. I miss the time when you were chased by Firebrand in the forest. Me too. And I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. The creator so it can recreate one any time. But the people living there can accept it, believing it is fate or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. I told you, 
You are no longer alone, Rose. Dart. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. Just the two of us. But no wonder she got kind of weird and flirtatious. I look just like her fiancé. Must be weird. Save point. Because I think we're probably going to do that next time. Just might do it next time. We've had a lot of story. We really have. And we made it to the Alara. Ulara, Ulara. And I think we did a pretty good job. But anyway, we're on the final stretch of this game, guys. So prepare yourself. I already... Yes, I do have the next game planned. It will be a surprise. But I think we got a few... A few more weeks worth of videos. And then this is going to be finished. Kind of sad. It's the last game that... You know... You stop shaking your foot at me. But this is the last game that was one of my original games when I started the channel. So from that point on, everything will be new. And I really like this game. I do. I have not been disappointed by it at all. So, if you like me setting about the end game, hit the like button. And as always, click the nut on your way out.